So folks, we're back at Apex Point, and there is my turd of a truck, and you know what? We're gonna strip this thing down today. Uh, we're gonna sell off all the parts, so I wanna take everything off here and get this thing down to a bare chassis. And then we're gonna try to buy a project car uh, that we can actually go in and modify, and I actually wanna keep. Now, if you're confused as to what is happening here and where this game came from, I actually played this game uh, the other day, back when I was doing a bunch of random games. And yeah, you guys seem to really wanna see uh, more of this, so that's what we're doing here today. So yeah, we're gonna part out this vehicle. Okay, let's lift this bad boy up. So yeah, uh, this is uh, just kind of one of the things that you could do to make money. Uh, you'll get a lot more money once you have the upgraded vehicles and you can do some of the events and actually score good. So yeah, we're just gonna take off everything here. Holy man, there's a lot of parts on this thing. I do like the whole fact that you can strip down the vehicles like this. This is actually really cool. Which I do wanna thank the, uh, the dev for reaching out on uh, Twitter. I had a little conversation. I'm definitely excited for the future of this game. I think there's a lot of potential here. Okay, so have I I gotten this down to pretty much the frame I believe I have on there might be an arm back here here we go let's get this uh, stripped off this like takes all the best things of like a car mechanic simulator game without having to actually unscrew everything okay so that is that's a frame <laughs> we're gonna sell this frame I think I've taken off every part okay so I could sell all my parts for a pretty penny here I think I'm actually selling the frame here I don't think I can take that over to the used car lot uh, there we go. So we're at 1.4 million uh, yen. That should be enough to buy a project car other than uh, the truck, which there's nothing against the truck. It's good at delivery jobs, but I feel like this game should be more about like speed. So yeah, uh, you can also buy other unregistered cars and strip them like that. It's a good way to make money. So let's head over to the used dealership real quick. Okay, so here we are at the used lot. Uh, there is a... Oh my goodness. Um, this is a unregistered vehicle. So it's an AE86 1985. Looks very rough. I don't think this would be my project car, but we could strip this thing down. And then I'm really looking forward to like a Civic or something. So I think we have to buy this thing. All right, so let's purchase it. Does it crank? Um, okay. Yeah, surprising that it does run. Oh my goodness, there's no interior here. <laughs> All right, here we go, drop it. Oh, this thing rips so, <laughs> holy man. You know, now I almost don't wanna get rid of this. Dude, this thing's got some power in it. You know, somebody's gonna get mad if I get rid of this. Um, you know, we could go enter it in an event. Dude, the back tires are different from the fronts. Holy man. This is cool though, I, I like this. I mean, it needs uh, a lot of work. On. Uh, <laughs> okay, I ripped it a little too hard there. Dude. Okay, this is kind of cool. I'm not gonna lie. Let's take this to the garage real quick and just maybe get a, a look at it. Okay, I think I finally understand the gameplay loop of this game. All right, so here, let's put it on the dyno real quick. Just uh, give it a little test. Oh yeah, it's our uh, speed demon here. All right, crank it up. Uh, apply some throttle here. Okay, so we're getting 101 uh, will to horsepower there. It really looks like we're missing a lot in the uh, engine bay here. So if you guys were to want to see me like uh, do a vehicle here, would it be something like this? Hold on, let's take this off real quick. Yeah, I really think it's just the engine in here actually is in perfect condition. I mean, there's a couple things that are a little, uh, I guess on the bad side that you need to repair, but I mean, for the most part, it's not bad at all. Okay, we're gonna strip this one down. I know uh, I do want to do like a project one at some point, but uh, I really need the money first. So I'd like to start off with something like the, uh, probably like the Civic. Okay, let's get this thing lifted up. I feel like there's a lot of value in the parts here, opposed to actually trying to fix this one up. You know, this honestly kind of reminds me of a game uh, we played a long time ago on the channel called Revhead, where you would uh, buy and like strip down or fix up vehicles. Uh, I kind of feel like it's close to that. Okay, let's take off body panels, trunk, uh, bumper. Uh, oh my goodness, there's so much stuff to take off here. Okay, there goes all that. I mean, the engine breakdown is actually really impressive in the game. Uh, all the parts that are in here. The heck is this up here? Oh, it's the ECU, so it's got a stock ECU on it. All right, I think we can uh, let's lift this up a little higher. Let's get on the uh, bottom side of this and see what kind of parts we're dealing with. Get the muffler out, take the, I don't think we can take the fuel tank out yet. Hold on, let's get the arms off. Okay, there goes that. Uh, can I? I don't think I can actually remove the fuel tank on this. All right, so let's get the drive shaft out. All right, so the subframe, I believe, is bolted in. Unless I need to remove, hold on, there's radiator hoses up here. Let's go and take those out. There goes the radiator. 
Yeah, I don't think you can remove this subframe. Uh, so that's all attached, so that's gotta go. Um, okay. You know, I would assume I could sell the body or the chassis. Uh, is that a thing? Uh, let's go to our parts inventory real quick. So if I go to sell all, we've made a little bit here. Uh, hold on, let's sell everything. So yeah, we started at like 1.4, now we're at 1.5. So I can sell this body though, right? Oh yeah, that sells for 448,000 yen. Heck yeah, I don't want that. Sell it, boom. So now we can go back and buy. Oh, so they're gonna try to make 100,000 on us. Ooh, that 86 looks like it's in good shape. Ah, uh, we're a little short for it. So yeah, we're gonna have to wait for another uh, clunker to appear here at the used lot. Uh, there's a Civic. Um, yeah, uh, I'll just have to wait a little bit, but we'll find a, another one. Might have to part out one more vehicle. Folks, we found it. Here it is. This is what I was looking for. This is the Project Honda right here. Um, yep, it is uh, in rough shape. The engine looks to be, I guess, together. Yo, there's another beautiful 86 over here. So yeah, I don't know if, wait. Oh, is this thing registered? So it's not registered. Am I allowed to drive this on the street? I mean, there's no police right now, so I'm assuming that's uh, definitely a thing. Yeah, we could part this out, but I think I want to try upgrading this one here. And then we can always sell it here in the future. Ah, here we go. Crank it up. Uh-oh. Um, there it goes. Uh, the check engine light's on. I'm sure that's normal. Oh, yes! Okay, I'm pretty happy with this thing. It's okay, we're just gonna uh, ruin the tires here in the uh, used car lot. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I went to the photo mode just to kind of see the vehicle. Yep, this is this is the vehicle. Um, so this is gonna be like our before shot. We'll have to do like an after too. This needs a lot of parts. I want to at least make it look like a basic car again and then we can go run some events. Okay, here she is on the lift. So yeah, we need to go into the uh, the computer here and this is where we're gonna go ahead and start to buy parts. I kind of wish I could do like a parts checklist. I mean, if you look at it, there's pretty obvious. We need front bumper, uh, there's radiator, the gearbox. The engine itself looks like it's in pretty good shape. Uh, the oil cap is at 42%. I don't think that's gonna really hurt it that much. Uh, so the engine itself seems good. How's the battery? Battery's at 42. Uh, so here, we'll get a new battery for it. Uh, so we want front lights, tail lights, bumpers. Um, I don't know if it's, oh my goodness. Okay, well, I'm okay with deleting the seat. I feel like the interior, there's like something missing in here. Okay, so let's get headlight, uh, headlights. Okay, we got different styles of front bumpers here. Uh, so, oh, we got a splitter too. Oh, let's put the front bumper on and we can try to put a splitter on the thing too. Okay, rear bumper. I want a diffuser on there. All right, so I think we got quite a few parts. Let's go and get a set of side skirts real quick. So kind of like those. Okay, we spent a buttload of money. Um, oh, you know what? Uh, might need a hood. All right, how about we uh, try installing some of these parts? Okay, so we're gonna install the headlights there. So we'll put those in. This is gonna be kind of satisfying, not gonna lie. Uh, so we got those. Let's get a hood on it there. Okay, we'll remove those fenders here in a second. Hold on, let's go to the front bumper there. And then I do have a uh, splitter, I believe. Boom, there, okay. okay. I'd like to get these fenders off here. So let's get those off. It's gonna have like a pretty uh, mean looking front on it. All right, so let's get the fenders on. Boom, boom. It kind of does look like a wide body fender. I wonder if we can get wider tires or maybe some sort of uh, extension. Okay, so there's the tail lights uh, left. Okay, the tail lights are in. Uh, we got that big wing we can mount to it. I thought that was gonna poke up a little higher. Uh, let's get the rear bumper and the rear diffuser on. There we go. Uh, let's see, I think, all right, this thing's already got uh, side skirts on it. Really needs to be run to the paint shop, but I mean, it kind of looks like a car again. Oh, I need to go buy a battery. Probably need to uh, uh, dig in a little bit here as far as like what's wrong with the engine because I think the check engine light is on. By the way, there's a ton of engine parts that we can do there too. Right now, we really just mainly did cosmetic stuff. All right, so let's do that and then we're gonna sell off the, the remaining parts. All right, let's crank this bad boy up. Uh, all right, check engine light's still on, but hey, we got a fresh battery in there. Uh, I think it's gonna run though. All right, let's go ahead and take off out of here. Oh my goodness, look at us. So I think there's a paint shop here somewhere. I don't know if it's actually, is it a part of my garage? Uh, I might've completely missed it. Uh, I do wanna go out and let's give this thing a, like a run here. I wonder if they're gonna have any sort of like diagnostics tools to tell you what's wrong with the engine or it's just gonna need to be broken down, which that's probably gonna be a thing. Oh, 
Oh, okay. The uh, slidey boy physics on this one actually feel pretty good. Let's go run that race real quick. We ran it uh, during our last little video. Okay, time attack. Let's do this. All right, get ready. And we're off. Oh, <laughs> yes. Okay, let's get into the gears. This car actually sounds kind of good. Oh, get a little slidey. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Oh, uh, this is great. Okay, maybe I should actually try using a remote here. Uh, oh, this actually feels a lot better. Oh my goodness, okay. Oh, brakes, brakes, brakes. Uh, oh, what is the handbrake for the remote? Oh my goodness, we're flying through the sky, okay. Uh, we have broken physics. Oh, and we're back. Okay, we have screwed up the uh, time attack for sure. Uh, Komodo was just trying to figure out what the e-brake was. All right, figured out what the e-brake is. Right, here we go. Whoa. Okay, slid it a little too hard there. Oh, buddy, grab a gear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely a little lag in some of the uh, the shifts in this thing. Like, it just doesn't feel as silky smooth as it should. All right, so we went 10,000 yen. Yeah, that was terrible. Uh, I mean, flying through the sky was probably not ideal. Uh, let's go quickly run this over in the drag event, and then we'll need to probably start to pull it apart uh, and figure out... Oh, I need to figure out how to get my cautions off. So, yeah, this is really literally my second time playing the game. Uh course i played it for about like 30 minutes uh the other day during the uh, other video just trying to learn uh some of the basics but yeah there's a lot of promise here I, I do like where this is going okay so here we are at the top of the parking garage i don't know why we hold drag races up here but this is the thing all right so let's run this uh let's run the quarter mile here so there's your uh goal times uh, and there's the money that you're gonna get so I think last time we were uh, definitely like, I think it was like 20 seconds. So I'm sure we could beat that. All right, here we go. Oh yeah. I mean, it's got a decent bit of pickup here. There's a little lag when it gets down into third gear. Uh, I don't know if you could change the gearing out. Uh, all right, here we go. And coming up to the quarter mile, boom, 17 seconds. So, I mean, still not great, but it's worth $10,000. Honestly, you could farm that repeatedly if you wanted money, but I, I definitely think the quickest way uh, to get money is going to be buying and selling a bunch of used vehicles. All right, here we go. One more run. Uh, I think it was slightly faster there. Uh, so, yeah, it's still a 17-second car. <laughs> okay, so I found the paint booth here. Uh, so this is a thing. So now we can paint this. Oh, my goodness. Did I just fly through a wall? Okay, so I kind of like... Uh, oh, that red's actually kind of nice. So, oh, there we go. That's actually beautiful. Uh, maybe we'll go, here's paint the chassis real quick. Uh, there's still some pieces missing off this. I'm gonna paint these bumper pieces. Oh, and I'm experimenting with colors now. How's this, ooh, this blue's nice too. I kinda like that. I feel like I make too many of my cars red, so maybe this blue uh, would be nice. So let's go ahead and spray paint all that. Uh, back section, all right. Uh, mirrors, let's go with blue on those. Uh, you know, it's not a bad, I mean, it's not great looking, but it's not bad looking. Uh, we made progress here, uh, so there's definitely a lot more to go. Definitely gotta dig into the engine and figure out what's going on, too. Hey, I mean, just think about the before on this. It definitely looks better. Uh, the internals, we're gonna break those down and work on them. I did not spray paint the inside of this engine bay, did I? Uh, but yeah, we'll, uh, definitely need to work on those a little bit and just try to figure out, like, what's going on in here. But I'm pretty happy what we did. Plus, like I said, we just need to start cycling through and stripping cars. Uh, that way we can build up our collection uh, here in the future. But if you guys want to see more, let me know down in the comment section below. We'll see you guys next time.